And welcome back to Attorneys on Call. Joining us in studio now, one of Bob's sons, Ben. Ben Whitley of the Whitley Law Firm. Ben, great to see you as always. Good to be here, Drew. Um, we heard on that little spot, uh, Dale, one of your clients, uh, talking about you know the Whitley advantage. And we've, we've been talking about that because it really is all about customer service, right? And it's right. really about being an advocate for that person that with a firm like yours, a family, a smaller family firm, you can give the clients that kind of care and and, and service that maybe some of these big, you know, sort of, uh, you know, bigger, massive, huge firms that are kind of those wholesale firms can't right. give. Right, and, and a part of that, Drew, is being able to, you know, take, have a smaller caseload, you know, not, not necessarily, and we've said it on this show before, not every case needs an attorney. We spend a lot of time on the phone. I'd say eight out of the 10 calls I get, I'm gonna tell somebody, you can handle your case on with, without an attorney. Here's some advice. Here's how to get your med pay. Here's how to deal with your property damage. You know, call me if things get complex. Mm -hmm. And it's usually fine with that. So okay. we don't have to, I think because we're able to take serious cases only, um, in, in cases where people are really affected with you know, wage losses, huge medical expenses, permanent injuries, because of that, we've got a real opportunity to work directly with our clients and have one-on-one -on -one attorney client uh, interaction, which I think is very important for someone going through such a serious situation where their life is upside down and they're scared. So the Whitley advantage is that you get a Whitley or you get a Whitney or you get an Ann, you get an attorney assigned to you that you'll be able to talk to. Once again, folks, at any time during this program, you can go to WhitleyLawFirm.com. You can call the 800 number. We do have operators standing by to take your call. And uh, in a very short order, one of the attorneys from Whitley Law Firm will be getting back to you. We know you have a lot of questions. Um, you can also email in those questions to the Whitley Law Firm as well. Um, Bob, you've created uh, one of these DVDs called What You Need to Know If You've Been Seriously Injured in an Automobile Accident. We know that for a lot of people, that's a great first step because you go through the whole process of what you need to know. Um, what have you learned over the years that really, um, in, in most recently, I know you've been dealing a lot with motorcycle accidents, and that can be an extremely complex case. Well, yeah, motorcycle accidents and bicycle accidents and moped accidents um, are a little different from the typical automobile where you have two cars that collide and someone is injured, uh, or even uh, a tractor trailer that collides with either a vehicle or a motorcycle. Um, some of the things I've learned about motorcycling, and I've never gotten on a motorcycle myself, and um, I hope no one judges me for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a sissy, but I just haven't done it. And I've seen a lot of bad things for my clients who have been on motorcycles. A lot of, I mean, you don't have any protection like you do in an automobile. Mm -hmm. you, you just don't have fender benders with motorcycles. Um, so the, the injuries are usually much more serious uh, if they're not fatal. Uh, but what I have learned about some of my clients who love their motorcycles, they're not gonna listen to me if I just try to tell them, don't get back on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of changed my tune about that because I realize that's something that's very important to some of our clients. Mm -hmm. I, Drew, I've, I've met with clients in the hospital who've lost limbs in motorcycle mm -hmm. accidents. And as we get closer to resolving their claim, one of the things they're considering is how much money will they have to replace that motorcycle? And I'll say, are you gonna get back on that motorcycle? They said, absolutely, as soon as wow. I can. So I, I've kind of learned some things recently. Uh, we've, we've had to hire some experts in looking at a motorcycle crash mm -hmm. with a pickup truck. Um, and some of the things I've learned, uh, and, and this, a lot of this is common sense. Um, First of all, I would recommend if you're going to operate a motorcycle, take some instructional courses from motorcycle experts. Um, learn as much as you can how to be safe because the operators of automobiles and trucks typically don't see motorcycles like they, uh, they see other vehicles. Mm -hmm. We got a call about the bad case, the motorcycle case in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And before we knew anything, I told Ben, Ben, I'm, I'm going to predict that, that our client, the guy on the motorcycle, was probably not at fault and that the other driver was. Uh, and that's usually the case. Motorcycle drivers are usually safer. But I would recommend, you know, learn how to stop a motorcycle using both rear brakes 
and front brakes. I think what happens when you're faced with a sudden emergency, you have a natural tendency to use your rear brakes. Mm -hmm. And they will stop you. Mm -hmm. But you can stop in almost half the distance if you learn how to coordinate your front braking with your rear braking. Okay. But it's something that you can practice and okay. you can take courses on and it'll make your it'll make it a little bit safer for you. And I think something that all motorcyclists have always told me, you've got to drive defensively. Assume you're not going to be seen. Assume that this car that's in the opposite lane with a left turn signal is not going to wait till you pass by before it turns left. Um, and statistically, that's how a lot of motorcycle accidents happen. That is, other vehicles turning in front of them as they approach and not seeing them. So, um, again, I've changed from never ride a motorcycle to learn how to do it as safely as you can. Well said. And we've got about 40 seconds to close, Ben. Go online, go to the WhitleyLawFirm.com. You can learn about all the cases that we handle. You can learn about us, and you, and most importantly, you can ask a free question about your legal case. And any call to the Whitley Law Firm is free, as Ben said, and we encourage you to do so. Call the 800 number. Go to WhitleyLawFirm.com. Hope you've enjoyed this program. I know I've learned a lot today, and hope you have too. We'll see you next time right here on Attorneys on Call.